So this week's video has been like a major fail. So yesterday I got home at like 8 o'clock. I was planning on doing it, but then I realized that I had to study for my theology final that was today, this morning. And so I was like, uh, alright, screw it, I guess I'll just do it tomorrow uh, and put it before Connor's video gets up. Sorry for my hair, I was taking a nap. Um, then came home for my final. Uh, I am the car telling her that I'm going to eat and then I'll do it. And then uh, I forgot that I had to do it because I was playing Xbox. And then... I went out to the store with my mom for like an hour, it was uploading, uh, no, took a bike ride, with, filmed it, then uploaded it or imported it from my flip onto my computer, but it didn't really work, um, because when I left, I forgot that I kinda had to, um, you know, keep the computer open for it to import, so, uh, yeah, did that, then realized that the video sucked, and so now I'm doing it now, and it's really late, at 6 o'clock. So yeah, this week's topic is um, whether, or the pros and cons of solitary and uh, you know, coven practice. Um, I haven't been in coven, I'm only solitary, so here we go with my pros and cons. Alright, so first my solitary uh, pros. Um, being a solitary myself, I kind of find it more uh, easier for me right now in life. Uh, I don't know if I would, you know, uh, become a member of a coven if I was of age, but I'm not of age, I'm only 15, believe it or not, um, so, can't, um, but the pluses for me for being a solitary is definitely, um, you know, just kind of making your own rules as to what you want to believe in and, um, like, your own, you know, belief system, um, you can also, uh, kind of do ritual whenever you want and how you want it, you know, to rely on a certain schedule that you have with other people. Um, you know, like maybe you have a, uh, you know, every full moon you go to wherever you have to go for your coven, uh, ritual. And, um, you know, it could just become inconvenient at some times and, you know, it's not the right thing that you want to do. Um, so, you know, I can practice the full moon, or not practice, uh, celebrate the full moon, um, you know, any time before or after the full moon, um, so that's a major plus for me because I'm really not, like, into the whole, you know, you have to be here at a certain time, like, schedule thing, uh, I'm a kind of, I guess I'm like a freelancer, I guess, but whatever, um, and my disadvantages for, um, being solitary is that the main, number one reason is that, um, you know, it's harder for me to branch out since I am only one person and, you know, um, that's a part of the reason why I came to YouTube, um, was because I saw there are people on here that, like, you know, believed in what I believe and I was like, oh, that's cool, I might make some videos too, you know? And so from there, I, uh, kinda started making videos, and, like I said, YouTube is a great place for people to branch out, um, you know, say that you, like, live in a small town or whatever, and you don't, are they gonna rain? And you, ADD, um, and you don't know anyone in your town, you know, who is a witch, and you just kind of want to branch out, like I said, and, you know, get information, um, things like that. Um, another one is that um, sometimes there's certain, there's only certain books and videos and uh, things that you can use to learn about certain topics. Um, not too sure about some of them, but I do believe that there are um, not books and videos for everything on the interwebs or in Borders, Barnes and Nobles, whatever bookstore you go to. Um, a lot of it has to do with how you practice and, um, you know, what you can do, I guess, um, but, you know, it's gonna get limited sometime, and, you know, being in coven with different people who have different, um, expertise and different backgrounds can be a great plus to you learning about your practice. Uh, now on to, uh, the coven advantages and disadvantages, uh, a lot of these solitary disadvantages can kind of just be turned around to advantages ad advantages, advantages for um, the 
coven practice, I guess, or work. Um, so easier to branch out um, information or different sources of information for different things. Um, it's always good to get a um, different view on certain stuff, uh, hence why we have a pagan perspective. Um, there's also, I forgot what I said, um, I don't know, I'll just, yeah, so, um, branching out, um, and more sources of information, um, and sometimes, even now, I kind of feel that I, uh, don't know what to study, when to study, so I'm just, like, kind of reading random books at random times, and I don't really think that's helping me a lot. So, um, I'm not too sure about this, but I th think, uh, Covens might have a kind of basis, uh, not basis, a guide, um, outline for, like, each week and what you should be kind of reviewing, studying, things like that. Um, so, tell me if that's true, because I kind of want to know. Um, and also, um... This is another. This is a dish, dish for um, being in a coven. So obviously you're working with other people, and you are doing something that, um, like, can affect you guys like different ways. Um, so what if like a problem occurs or something, uh, like outside of ritual or inside of ritual, um, and you know there's like a little argument between a few people, uh, it'd just be a really bad atmosphere for the whole ritual, and it's just not a good place to start off, uh, for an actual ritual. So you can get in a fight with yourself, uh, well, you kinda can, but not, like, that bad, like, I'm gonna scream at you fight, unless you talk to yourself. Um, but, yeah, um, I don't really know that much about coven practice, uh, because, obviously, haven't been in one. So uh, I'm going to stop this now, and all of you have a great week, and I'll talk to you later. Blessed be.